Happy New Month, and I'm so excited to welcome you to another important episode of The Advocate, your Sunday reminder that important conversations are among the necessary tools for a sinner society. Today, I'm going to be talking about the 2023 New Year Fours. Sage Hassan, on the other hand, is going to be talking about 2023 in view. Suleiman will be talking about the 2023 elections and how it comes with a lot of innovations and the new voter demography. Elijah Felix is going to be talking about the 2023 general elections in view, sustenance and decorum in governance and politicking. Today, as usual, expect interesting conversations and we will be right back after the break. 2023, the new year falls. One of the regular pattern I have seen with people towards the end of each year is making so much misguided noise about the incoming year. People just fantastically believe that the new year will bring new results to them simply because it's a new year. This is even what has kept us constantly where we are as a nation. We're getting closer to where Nigeria will decide her next set of leaders. We must lessen the noise and begin to re-engineer our mindsets. Thoughts create behaviors and behaviors create outcomes. Our fundamental problem, so much lies in our thought pattern. Most people have lofty wishes for the forthcoming year, 2023, with no actual well thought out plan. You know, we've got to detach from writing a bunch of conventional resolutions that don't work. I mean, if you think about it, those things really do not work. I believe with no idea of doubt that our present leaders, who may seem primitive, understand how this thinking game works. If you can keep the people caged in the same limited thinking pattern, then you can keep them externally caged. We need a paradigm shift in our way of thinking fundamentally. An average Nigerian has already been defeated in their mind due to a faulty thinking pattern. And I dare say that if you're born into Nigeria, I mean, you're already programmed to fail. I mean, that's the sad reality, you know. But however, we're now less than 30 days away into the new year, 2023. What are you going to do differently? What adjustments do you need to make? You must drop those old limiting beliefs and begin to pick up new ones. You must now detach yourself from disempowering thoughts and begin to embrace a new way of thinking. This is how I strongly believe that we can build a better 2023. And I'm going to turn to my advocates and pretty much just talk about how do we begin to build a new year. I mean, there's, there's a lot of noise, you know, whenever we come to December, people keep saying things like, oh, the year is coming to an end. I didn't achieve anything. The next year is going to be a good year. Man, this new year, I'm going to hammer. I'm going to blow. But when we end that new year, they say the same thing. So it's almost the same pattern. So I'm just going to start with Elijah. What do you think people can do? Um, to have a better year. Well, life coach, you yeah, again. <laughs> Good to have you. Anyway, um, I'm going to say these things. But let me first of all acknowledge 2023 mm. as a special year for not just we Nigerians, um, even Americans. Let me use this. Uh, in Nigeria, yeah, 2023 is a new year where we're expecting a lot of things personally and also for the nation because we're having a new um, political era, the end of a political era and the beginning of a new political era. So. True. If it's actually going to be a new political era, indeed, that's up to we Nigerians to decide our fit come 2023. And for the Americans, those our uh, friends in the US, you know, towards the ending of 2023, they will be talking about the end of an era to preparing for their primaries 
and then for their 2024 general elections, presidential elections and all those things. So um, I see we are heralding 2023. So for you to have a very wonderful 2023, you start now. If you had made mistakes or errors in 2022, or you've kept some stone unturned, or you've not been able to hit some milestones, you don't have to kill yourself or beat yourself about it. You just have to strategically forecast and plan. Not just plan for planning sick and see do, how many of us have done the new resolution. Raise up your hand. That resolution thing is supposed to be the moment you discover that you are lacking in somewhere, mm. you quickly take a revolu resolution for your next step of uh, next line of action. Sure. You don't have to wait till December 31st <laughs> to take a new year resolution. You can start now taking a new day resolution, leave a day at a time. So what do you want to do tomorrow that will be different from what you've done before? And that's said, leave a day at a time. Hit your successes for that day. If you don't hit your target for that day, move on. Prepare for the next day. Continue. And I'm sure if we continue like this, 2023 will not just be a successful year for we personally. It's going to be for we collectively as a nation as we Fantastic. decide to choose our feet rightly in 2023. Fantastic. Something, do you, what do you have to say to that, uh, Sage? Uh, <clears throat> First of all, I, 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 don't, I, I cannot divorce um, people from hope. Oh, okay. right? and, and that's what, that's what the resolution uh, provides. It gives you a sense of hope. Mm. You know, um, hope can be important, you know, in a sense. But hope can also be just as important as it is important. Because you can have hope and it might be false hope. You know, so um, New Year resolutions, what they do is they give us a sense of hope. They give us a sense of restarting something but this is this is my take how do you ensure that you don't repeat the patterns of the last year and the next year but the problem with human beings is you know we we, we, are, we are neural beings mm. you know what we see outside is you know is, it cover, covers the the, the neural um, pathway true so everything that we are has already been laid mm -hmm. and like he said the key is for me the key is to lay new uh, neural parts, new neural points. Pattern. Yeah, constantly, continuously, regularly. So for me, the key to any form of achievement must be the capacity or the ability to create a vision for yourself. Mm. But it's much more than creating a vision. It is actually mapping a vision in such a way that you make yourself sleep to that vision Fantastic. or sleep to that mapping. Fantastic. And then you vigorously... Mm. Focus on the mapping, mm. and it's like steps. You do it every day, every second, every minute. You can tell what will happen to you in December, or what happens to you in February, based on how you map yourself. But most people, we, we, we like to live on what's that thing? We like to live on the chance. Mm. You know, we like to if it happen. Mm. You know, I remember one time someone was talking to me, and he wanted to move out of the country, and then. Their brother or their cousin was telling them, oh, yeah, you, you go there, you might meet someone. And somebody went there and met somebody and the person helped them. And I said, but you, you, yeah, you can't Probably build easy. your life Wrong on guy. that mm. thing that someone, I might just go and I might just, no, no. So this is the problem I think we have. Most Deliberate. Time. Yeah, mm. we're not, yeah. Thank you. Um, before we get into another topical issue, I'd like to turn it over to our friend um, Suleiman in Abuja. Let, let's hear what you have to say concerning this. Um, Thank you for having me. Good evening, yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Um, 2023 New Year, uh, it is a year to look forward to as a Nigerians, individually and as a nation. A lot has happened this year already, and 2023 is another year whereby Nigerian destiny is now placed in our hand. So, for individuals, I can say that. Um, for those, uh, for those goals that we set and were able to achieve, kudos to them. And for those that were unable to achieve, I will only tell each and every one of us that the achievement and milestone don't happen in a single year. We can always take them over to, to the next year. As they used to say in the local uh, balance, say, now we give up, fuck up. Children, is there. Thank you so much, Suleiman. Um, I mean, what's the usable information here? It's very simple. 
Um, forget about Q Sera Sera, which is what will be, will be. What will be will not be. It's what you make be. I mean, Sage has talked about that. It's important that you're intentional and you're deliberate with the things you're going to do. And think about things that didn't work out 2022 and then begin to do away with those things and um, set new goals. Think about what stopped you and then um, envision 2023 and how that would likely stop you so that you can be fully ready for it. And most importantly, you should get your voter's card so that you can participate. <laughs> um, we're going to take a short break now and Sami Sage is going to join us after the break. <laughs> 